That's not the right camera. Just, I'm just posting up that we're chilling. Yo, this is something you can do. This is something that you can do to help right now. Here we go. Yo, Fire Blast, what's up? Hey. What's up? Yo, welcome. All right, guys, so what we're here to shill for today is called Comma Pencil. Um, there's been a lot of people already hard at work. Uh, so you can go to our, our GitHub URL right here. Uh, that's github.com slash comma i slash comma 10k. Uh, and it's 10k images for uh, training settings. Yes, it's comma coloring 2.0. It's comma coloring 2.0. So Tesla has this thing called data engine. Um, Carpathy loves to talk about it. He talks about it in a lot of talks. Uh, we, of course, are too poor to afford a data engine. Um, so we're relying on the kindness of strangers. And these strangers over here, uh, this is our Discord. If you don't know, it's at discord.com.ai. Uh, have been incredibly kind. We're going to go over to Comma Pencil. Um, and they've already labeled the first thousand uh, images for us. So we can go through. We can just take a look at some of these here. What's up, Brevin? They're really, they're really beautiful, I think. And um, it's easy because you don't have to label things uh, too many different colors. All right, so um, if I go here, by the way, this is all open source. So unlike with Comma Pencil, any work you do here is uh, available for anybody to use uh, for any purpose under the MIT license. Um, so you see, I can uh, go in and out here. So one of the beautiful things about Comma Segnets is we don't have many classes. Uh, we don't have many different kinds of stuff that you have to label. You don't need to know the difference between someone who likes watermelon and someone who doesn't like watermelon. I mean, maybe those are two different types of categories. Or, you know, what's the difference between a truck and a pickup truck? Right? When is it a truck? When is it a car? I don't know. But what I do know is that commas categories are very simple. Five categories. See this purple here? This category is called my car. Anything that is inside of your car and moves with you. Some guy put a pizza box on the windshield. This is the my car category. Um, this uh, red here is a lane line. We have lane lines. That dark brown is a road. Uh, we have everything else. Oh, yes. Well, the green is movable. So that's like cars and pedestrians and horses, anything else that moves. And then there's everything else, which is just that, that gray there, right? Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can see this is just labeled from our users right here on our GitHub. Remember, all of this is open source. Uh, so we're going for 10,000 images. We're up to the number labeled so far. Oh, no, what happened? Don't modify the images folder. Oh, we gotta, we gotta fix the test because I modified the images folder. But, um, that is how many we've labeled so far. 1,049 images. Um, so you can like look at them, they're really beautiful. You guys can look at me for a minute. I am George, my name is George. You go by GeoHot on the internet sometimes, and you can find me on the Comma AI Discord, where you can come help out right now with the Comma AI Pencil Project while I come fix this test. We're going to fix this test. Don't modify the image folder. Wait, what? Oh, no. I don't know. I need somebody else to fix this. I don't know how to fix it. Don't modify the images folder. Thank you, thank you. All right, we're just we're just going in here. We're gonna we're gonna. You guys want to see the keyboard? I know you love seeing the keyboard. Um, I'm just gonna go in. We got we got to fix this test because I don't want people thinking that 
my test is broken because that's just sad. This wasn't the right way to fix this. If this one works too. Perfect. I don't know what those M's are, but fix. Tests. All right, guys, we fixed the tests. Now we can get back to comma penciling with you guys. Check out how beautiful this image looks. Look at that. Every little lane line, right where it belongs. And you guys can contribute to this huge corpus of work that's publicly up on GitHub and is about to now have tests that pass. Let's see if the tests pass. Fix tests. Did I fix the tests? Oh, I don't know. We're gonna find out. Um, so, you ask yourself, how do I contribute to this? Uh, and Eric B has written this tool that you guys can use called Image Labeler. Um, Image Labeler is like the comma pencil tool, but it's better. Uh, you can type in, like say I wanna go to 50, I wanna show the existing mask. This one's already really well labeled, but I can go to one that like isn't labeled yet. So let's go to 1600, let's show the existing mask for that. Oh, look at that, look at that bug. It's really obvious, you know? Especially if I lower this down. Oh, well, actually maybe that's not a bug. No, no, never mind. maybe it's not obvious. Well, it's Oh yeah, look, okay, you can see it. You can see it if the mass capacity is not that high. You see here, this is actually not a part of the truck, it's a part of my car. So I can just go select my car here. Draw around this. Yeah, beautiful. I don't know if I see any other bugs with this. I think there might be some stuff unlabeled over here. Let's zoom in. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be a car. Doesn't that look like a freight truck to you? All right, we'll just go to movable. Label this guy movable. Drag those out a little bit. Well, I didn't want to do that. Just go here. Yeah, drag that there. All right, cool. All right. Um, I think there's like little blotches over there that aren't great. But either way, this is a whole lot better than what we had. So when I'm ready, I can just save this mask. It's downloaded here. And then you can commit that mask on GitHub. Oh, I can use the up and down arrows to change opacity. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is some quality software. Oh, yo, Edwin knows what's up. Um, so yeah, now I've made this mask. And now, uh, I, you know, if you're gonna do it, you should put a lot more love and care into it than I did. We really want these masks to be pixel accurate and not have splotches like that. This is too low quality to commit to our repo. Um, we're right over here in the comma discord over in the comma pencil channel. Uh, and you guys can come help out. So. You know, Tesla has this, they call it Data Engine. Um, we don't have Data Engine because we're poor, guys. We're poor. Comma doesn't have a lot of money. If you want to give us money, go to shop.com and AI and buy Comma 2s. But, um, got the tool we use pinned. Oh, we should definitely do that. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, let me just. Uh, so, I, Eric B wrote this on Discord. Uh, it's a great tool. I think he's doing a great job. Uh, PJ Lau's done tons to, you know, actually labeling images himself, getting all the stuff merged on GitHub. Virtually Chris has been helping out with that. We've got, we got a great crew. Um, shout out to John Smith for buying a C2. Did you buy a comment too? Did you just buy it right now? Anyone who buys one right now on this live stream, I will shout you out. 
I will shout you out. John Smith's not his play. Oh, guys, guess what we sold today? And I love when we sell these. All right, so I don't know if you guys have been to Kama AI slash services, but we sell some ridiculously overpriced services to people, and we sold a meeting today. We sold a 30-minute phone call for $1,000. John Smith bought one for one. Oh, I don't know. My Shopify doesn't scroll back that far. That was so long ago. Um, now, you know, people aren't, people aren't, uh, aren't driving as much with the... Uh, uh, you bought one yesterday, Michael Honan? No, no, no. I can, I can, I can see you. If you bought one yesterday, you did buy one yesterday. Wow. Oh yeah, no, it'll ship tomorrow. Uh, no, I'm not gonna show it. Yeah, 30 minutes for a thousand dollars on the phone. No, we, we're building something incredible right now. There's a quick picture of it up on the Discord, but um, all the comma twos that ship out from now on are gonna have stress testing. Uh, super important. But remember, how can you contribute? Oh, I can't show you Shopify. Um, but I can show you, comma, 10K. How can you contribute? Go to this GitHub URL. Actually, did I fix the test? Well, I fixed the don't modify the images folder, so that's good. Um, the images are really honestly beautiful. So these are the ones that have already been labeled. Now we can get to some of them that haven't been labeled yet. So like these ones, well, this one was automatically generated. So you can see that it's quite good. Um, so this, this is an automatically generated mask, which means we just ran it through the, uh, the comma automatic stuff. You see that's quite good here. It's quite good here, but it did miss this car over here. So, you know, we need somebody to go in and just label that car. Uh, maybe that edge should be cleaned up a little. That's a little, it's a little janky looking. I don't know, maybe that's okay. Uh, what do we have here? Again, these ones are all completely labeled by the computer. This one looks very good already. I don't know if there's any problems with that one. The only problem I see is that if you zoom in here, there's a little bit of uh, a little bit of red there. Now remember that we don't label crosswalks as lane lines because they're not lane lines, they're crosswalks. Now what do we got here? Oh, this one's pretty bad. See, look at this unlabeled lane here. Remember, every bug you see in these images is a bug in OpenPilot. So every bug that you fix is a bug that gets fixed in OpenPilot. We're going to use this to regenerate all of our ground truth once we have this segment. Um, so if you guys come uh, to our GitHub, uh, come to our Discord. Remember, that's discord.comma.ai. Come in this channel right now. I'll post what you chatted on screen right here. Um, yeah, but uh, people will help you. I know that we're going to get play of this later. People will help you get set up. What is a segnet? A segnet is just something that automatically labels uh, that. So it's the machine that I use to automatically generate this mask. So remember, this one again was automatically generated by the machine, and that's why it's not perfect. But the human ones were much higher quality. Because see, it's not really a lane there. It's missing a little lane here. That stuff's still all a road. Uh, this one looks pretty good. It was like blotchy stuff. Eh, that's a bug down there. You see, that should be my car. That should be purple. Again, we're missing a center lane line. You know, have you ever had Open Pilot not detect your center lane line? Well, you can fix this right now by contributing to uh, Comma Pencil. We're apparently missing an entire semi. Every time you label a picture, the AI gets better. Exactly. Exactly. You guys can contribute. You guys can label data. Help me out. Um, this is the thing that I've been using to test them. Oh, if you guys heard about big model, look at big model. This is what the model currently sees. This is big model. You know, it's like an ad for a widescreen camera. Uh, we're missing an entire semi. You guys want to see where we're missing an entire semi? What do you do if someone mislabels? We don't merge your pull requests. So this is on GitHub. We have a system. We have a complex system place of checks and balances we have an executive branch a legend now um so like here you know, this one uh see and now we have virtually chris came in here 
on our public GitHub here. And it was fine for you, and it tries to put you in another lane. Well, you guys, you know, contribute. See, look, 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 look at the detail here. Look at the detail that's being called out. Oh, this is incredible. See, this is the kind of quality that's going to make OpenPilot so good. Um, I've been super impressed with people's attention to detail here. Uh, yeah, virtually Chris has really been the, the guardian of the guardian of quality. So if you submit something that's bad, uh, someone will call you out on it. Uh, and we'll get you to we'll get you to fix it up. But yeah. Uh, yeah. See, oh, we see we're missing. Up oh, those people should be green. Yeah, they're not green. Those lane lines should be colored in. They're not colored in. Oh, this is pretty bad. Oh, this one's pretty bad. We can do better here, guys. We can do better. You guys can do better. Relabel this one. Oh, this one's crispy. Oh, uh, this one. Aside from like a few mislabeled lane lines far off in the distance, it looks pretty perfect. This one's very good. Um, big improvements already. One of the big improvements that we didn't have before was all these things used to not be labeled cars. Uh, now they're being labeled cars thanks to, thanks to people labeling them. Uh, so that's really nice. So a few labels. Yeah, we don't need a lot of labels. We're not Tesla. Um, is there no way to use temporal context to improve segmentation while moving? So we actually do that. Um, we actually do. The, the only reason, uh, do we do some tutorials? Come into Comma Pencil and people will help you get started. Um, so we use temporal context in the final ground truthing model. Like in the, in the automatic, so these models are used as a component of our automatic ground truthing system for the big models. Um, and the fact that they've worked at all, even with the super low quality of data we've had, is testament to how good that temporal smoothing works. We don't want to put that temporal smoothing in here because then you're going to get temporal correlation. The beauty of this is it's IID, so we can, you know, you can, it's much easier to train models when things are IID and you don't have to deal with, um, you know, if you're going to put it into a filter later, right, like you, you, if you're going to put them in a Kalman filter, you don't want it to be temporally correlated. So that's why we do this like this. We don't try to exploit temporal information here. Yeah, let's look at a few more. Let's call out a few more. Oh, this one. See, this one is almost perfect. The only thing I would say here, uh, well, I wouldn't label those things road, though. They kind of are road. Driveways kind of are road sometimes. I don't know. I don't know if I'd, I'd call that a driveway. I don't know what people have been doing. Come into Common Pencil and ask about that. Um, any thoughts about the University of Toronto self-driving car course? I don't know anything about it. Oh, there's a bug there. Look, that shouldn't be purple. That's not part of your car. It's just a splotch on the road. Clean that up. That's uh, that image, by the way, if you want to come on GitHub right now, fix that one. That one can be yours to fix for the low price of $0. Um, clean up that. Maybe, maybe add a little more. I think that lane goes out a little bit more. I think you can kind of see it. If we zoom in a little bit there. Oh, oh, wow, we're missing a vehicle off in the distance. So that could be bad. That could be bad. We want to definitely get that vehicle labeled. Yeah, that's, see, that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be road there. Uh, oh, look at that one little lane splotch there. We did a pretty good job with those vehicles there. Remember, these are the ones that are being automatically generated. So if we look back at some of the ones that were human labeled, um, the humans have really done a great job. Like, look at this. I don't know. I bet we can't find any bugs. They've done a great job. Look, they even got, like, the car over here and stuff. Um, so, yeah, big props to the humans because really, like, How good, there's a saying in machine learning, and it's called garbage in, garbage out. But you can take that saying, and you can also say quality in, quality out. Maybe if your machine learning is good. You might get garbage out, but if you put quality in, that's where you got to start. Cars and trucks green. Yeah, the color standard. So the colors are all listed in the, uh, in the readme here. And we talk about what the categories are here. So, yes, you guys are correcting the AI. 
Um, the categories are pretty simple. So there is no more, we don't care about sky, we don't care about signs and traffic lights anymore. We just care about five categories. Road, lane markings, undrivable, movable, and my car. So road is all parts. Anywhere nobody would look at you funny for driving. If a driveway looks real private, no. If a parking lot, yes. Uh, don't include non-lane markings. Undrivable is anything you can't drive on, like the sky or like a concrete barrier. Uh, movable are like people and vehicles. And signs are also undrivable. Um, Right-hand countries work fine. Yes, absolutely. Uh, no new hardware. What, you want to see, you see the Eon on my desk? We have Eons and Comma 2s. Who said there's new hardware? Um, I have an Eon because... Oh, no, I did make a change today. Notice how it doesn't say Panda anymore. It says vehicle, no GPS. I'm not sure you guys can really see it, but this is actually yellow because you're going to need to... Because this is a white Panda. This is the greatest project you've heard about so far. Thank you. Thank you. This is my white Panda and my Comma Debug. No new hardware. Uh, yeah, so if you guys can... Um, come on to our Discord. Somebody will help you out. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Oh, yeah, if you want to schedule a meeting, it's $1,000. We sold a meeting today. I'm so happy. I love when we sell meetings. Our great victory. So I'm at my meeting tomorrow, my $1,000 phone call. Um, yo. Um, any idea why your Don, your Eon, has your default location wrong? Bro, I don't know. I didn't write that code. Uh, I don't know, check the source. Um, check the check the source code. Check the check the source. Uh, all right, cool. Any other things for the stream? We'll just look at a bunch more pictures while we answer any last questions. Beautiful. These are human labeled. This is this is a testament to what humans can do when they're motivated. Look look at how far those lane goes. Oh yeah, yeah, beautiful. Is there a channel? Yeah, it's called Comma Pencil in Discord. In the Comma AI community Discord, yeah. Uh oh beautiful, beautiful. Look at that, look at that blue reflection. Notice that's still a vehicle. Ten thousand images to label? Yeah, I mean so the thing about ten thousand images is it's already getting a whole lot easier to label the images. I think by the time we're at the last thousand, we're gonna have to change maybe a hundred of them. And I think nine hundred of them are already gonna be labeled completely correctly. So we're doing this iteratively. Um I'll show you here. Uh let me find what I'm looking for. This one. Uh so you can see this is this is a segment that I've been learning. Um, this isn't a good example. We'll get a better example up here. Uh, I'm playing with dynamics models. All right, here we go, segment with extra data, yeah. Yeah, so you can see, like, we're just, we learn segnets, and then we use it uh, to predict and get these. So as you guys label images, the segments get smarter, the segments get smarter. We have to label less and less things. Yeah, we trained entirely with right-hand drive stuff. It'll be fine. Are we gonna start paying you for comma points? No. <laughs> um, nobody has bought the data yet. No, nobody has bought the data. We will pay you for comma points when Reddit pays you for karma. That's, that's what I like to say about paying for comma points. Um, nobody's bought the data yet, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, guys, and I wouldn't sell the data to people if they suck, if they want to do ads, you know, they can, they can get fucked, you know. Waymo sent us, uh, sent us, uh, sent us, I shouldn't say that, I shouldn't say that, but you know, fuck Waymo, I will say that. Um, apparently, apparently, there was this podcast, and the podcast bleeped out Waymo and replaced it with Taco Bell, uh, because, nah, 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 but, just Waymo sucks, that's, that's all we have to know, but, um, are there any weird edge cases? Oh, yes, yes, and actually we'll show them to you. So, hey, Virtually Chris, welcome. Welcome to the, the channel. Um, we'll show you the hard ones. So we went out of our way to find 100 of the hardest images. Wow, this one's already been labeled by a human. Oh, this one's been labeled by a human as well, but wait till we get to some of them that haven't been labeled by a human. Look at this guy. Um, these are the hard ones. Wait till we get to the ones that haven't been labeled. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Like it's total trash. So we, we did a search yesterday for where the model's the most confused. And then we uh we put them we put them in. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this trash. It thinks that's part of your car. Oh, that's junk. Okay, that one's good. Someone probably did that because the oh look at that. Oh, it doesn't work at all. Those police cars are clearly movable vehicles. Can't even tell what they are. Um Oh, this is this is the worst one. Oh, what's the Discord list? Discord.com.ai. Um, wow, yeah, this one's really bad. You guys can fix that one. It's called H009, uh, and it's called H because the H stands for hard. Um, oh, terrible. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, this one, someone dead. Look, that's pretty beautiful. Oh, oh, look. Oh, that vehicle is coming right for us, bro. It's coming right for us. Someone better label it real fast. Look, it thinks those lights are lane lines. That's how atrocious this is. Oh, look at that mislabeling. Oh, terrible, terrible. It didn't do so bad at that one. But yeah, we went through and I filtered out what the hardest ones were. Um, yeah, we gotta act fast or the car will hit us. Come on, label, label, label. Uh, so yeah, if you can, Come in and help out. Uh, how to accept lane marking. Tab, enter. I don't know what that means. Um, but look, oh, look at this. Look at this terrible image. Look, look at how bad it is at this park car here. That's clearly a car. Plans for 08. White pandas, no longer supported. Look at that. Vehicle, no GPS. Uh, no, we're going to, we're doing lots of stuff with the localizer to start to actually drive uh, using the localizer to put information back into uh, the vehicle. Basically, we're improving the vehicle model so it won't like drift out on turns anymore. We're looking into hugging issues and we're looking into big model. If, if we ship big model, if we ever ship big model, it'll ship in the 08. I think 08 is a beautiful time for big model. Look at how much more model we can see. There's the outline for 08s on, on the open pilot uh, GitHub as well. GMC Yukon XL? No, no, don't buy that, no. Buy an open pilot compatible car. Buy a Hyundai Sonata. Oh, look at that, oh, we gotta fix that. Move over for Semi? Yeah. Yeah, Tom Cruise's, uh, I have one song on Spotify. Parking lines are lane lines? No, parking lines are not lane lines. No, only if they're used to demark a lane. Oh, look at this, oh, so I think someone labeled this. Why oh, this one was already just good. No, I think someone labeled this. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's crispy. Crispy. All right, I'll leave you guys with one of my favorite. I think it was 57. 57 is one of my favorite, yes. Richie's English enriches your English. Um, uh, Hyundai Harness, I don't know. We'll have to ask the Hyundai Harness team. Yeah, that was labeled. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. This one looks kind of, no, this one wasn't really labeled. Look, because that stuff's still wrong, but this one's already pretty good. Richie's English enriches your English. That's what I'm going to leave you guys with. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to check out comma pencil on Discord everywhere. Label images, help us out. Don't make us, you know, like Tesla had to like pay a lot of money for this. And, you know, like, let me tell you something. Who cares more? You, when it's your open pilot that's going to misdetect the lane or misdetect the car, or some random guy in the Philippines who could never afford a Tesla in his life. That's right, you. This is a community-supported project. I really value you all. Thank you so much for coming in to help out. If you have, and if you haven't, come in and help out. And if you have no intention of coming in to help out and you're just here to enjoy the show, that's all good, too. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Wow, a lot of people want that Hyundai harness. All right, all right, all right. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, Ford sucks. Don't buy Ford.